As the manna was given to the children of Israel fresh on a daily basis, this is your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nugis. Lift him up, page 198. The Deliverer, a humble shepherd, July 3rd. God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Exodus 3, 4, 5. The time for Israel's deliverance had come, but God's purpose was to be accomplished in a manner to pour contempt on human pride. The deliverer was to go forth as a humble shepherd with only a rod in his hand, but God would make that rod the symbol of his power. Leading his flocks one day near Horeb, the mountain of God, Moses saw a bush on flames. A voice from out of the flame called him by name. With trembling lips he answered, Here am I. He was warned not to approach irreverently. Humility and reverence should characterize the deportment of all who come into the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, we may come before him with confidence, but we must not approach him with the boldness of presumption, as though he were on a level with ourselves. There are those who address the great and all-powerful and holy God, who dwelleth in light, unapproachable, as they would address an equal or even an inferior. There are those who conduct themselves in his house as they would not presume to do in the audience chamber of an earthly ruler. They should remember that they are in his sight, whom seraphim adore, before whom angels veil their faces. God is greatly to be reverenced. All who truly realize his presence will bow in humility before him. As Moses waited in reverent awe before God, the words continued, Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Amazed and terrified at the command, Moses drew back. Moses saw before him difficulties that seemed insurmountable, what proof could he give his people that God had indeed sent him? Evidence that appealed to his own senses was now given. He was told to cast his rod upon the ground. As he did so, it became a serpent, and Moses fled from before it. He was commanded to seize it, and in his hand it became a rod. The Lord assured Moses that his own people, as well as Pharaoh, should be convinced that one mightier than the king of Egypt was manifest among them. God blessed his ready obedience, and he became eloquent, hopeful, self-possessed, and well-fitted for the greatest work ever given to man. This is an example of what God does to strengthen the character of those who trust him fully and give themselves unreservedly to his command. This has been an inspiring devotional with Sister Tanya Nugues.